doesn't get how to Triforce or the whole concept of Triforce in, so I'm going to see if I can do an Express Lesson. Let's just buy a new bay because I don't want to screw around with trying to find something that's available. And we're going to demonstrate with white blocks, so let's just put down a sheet of white blocks. It's more he doesn't really get the use of it. So. So basically triforcing is supposed to be a way of directing damage flow through your vehicle. Um, you really, I mean, you want to try and control damage where it goes, uh, where it propagates to, and keep it away from your pilot seat or critical structure at all costs. So obviously, you know, you've got the, yeah, you've got your pilot seat, but you've got any critical parts of your bot that would include uh, weapons, movement, all that kind of stuff. So let's just put a pilot seat on here so we can give an example of the kind of thing we're wanting to do. So we've got a pilot seat here. Basically what's going to happen, whenever you take damage, or this block takes damage from an SMG, the damage is going to radiate from here and into the surrounding blocks. So let's use some red blocks to demonstrate that. So I'm going to use a blue to mark the hit location. And what will happen is some damage will propagate to each of these. And in turn, when these get destroyed, damage is then going to propagate to each of those squares. So and that's using the with default armoring so you see you get hit on that side hit on that side damage damage essentially just radiates uh around and it is randomly assigned between these according to the damage algorithm now what we really want to do is we want to prevent uh let's say we had a gun mounted here we don't want that uh block taking damage or even this block taking damage so Let's put a gun on there to give an example. Um, what's going to happen is as soon as this block takes damage and gets destroyed, you lose this gun. So you want to try and route this damage around this block, but not actually have it flow through there. Now this doesn't work so much on plasma, but it's more um, something that works on... against uh, rails etc. So now you see what I've done. There's the obvious thing is you break the connection between this block and this block so that any damage going to this block will not get transferred through. So this is the, a basic um, way to prevent some of that damage propagation. Uh, so now instead of going through to this block the damage from here would then be transferred out Um, around here instead. So you're just making the connection point to get to that further, but that's not going to travel through there. This side would travel through here, so in turn we'd want to change this into a block that has no connection. So now this is not going to travel here. Your damage from that block will travel that way and so on. So you're trying to control how damage flow actually works on the design. Um, and if you want to start getting into more complex triforcing, obviously, say you've just taken a hit here, the damage is going to propagate through to this line, and then say you get hit by a plasma here, that's going to go through. But if you get hit by a plasma here, you might want to take out the first one or two. Um, but in most cases, this will be protected. But you've still got a problem with rails and SMGs and stuff with the damage being pushed back. So, like you get hit from a rail, why are you going to actually want this rail damage to flow through to this block here? So instead what we're going to do, if I, in triforcing you essentially have something like this, where the damage from this hit is now going to radiate out like this, so it's going to cover a much wider area, and in some ways it actually gets diffused between all of these various blocks. 
And that's in, in essence, that's what triforcing is. It's just trying to manage how damage flows through your design. And it limits the connections and it helps protect the vital sections where your weapons are mounted and that kind of stuff. And the same principles um, go to anything that's actually connected onto your robot. So, yeah, it's um, it doesn't get rid of armor. It just manages the damage flow. And I guess that's really the easiest way I can explain it. Um, but it doesn't help if you do this to your entire design because you still need fairly solid connection points um, to make sure that um, your critical structures don't just evaporate. Um, because what invariably happens, it's like, okay, so this has been uh, fixed, but now you've got an increased chance of damage being directed back through to this point. And if you ha only had one set of blocks are actually going up to this gun mount, it'd be a lot easier just to shoot back here, cut off the triforce section or the um, the point here, and it would, you know, it would take out the gun more easily. So really, you want to make sure you're having sections that are at least wide enough to. Uh, absorb damage themselves, which is why you'll see a lot of people have uh, sections something like this on their vehicle so that um, there's enough um, there's enough hit points basically in this section for it not to just get shot off in one hit. Um, but yeah, that's I guess that's it's a very vanilla explanation of Triforce and it doesn't tell you how to do it effectively but it's really it's just how you da manage damage flow around your design and that's what it comes down to but anyway back to playing uh, with this monster